Getting 80. I'm not going to lie, I'm mapping out a little pool time over the weekend, Justin. Nice. <laughs> All right, there's an increase of police uh, presence during Joker showings across the country this weekend, and the FBI fears the violent theme of the movie may inspire attacks similar to the Aurora Theater shooting in 2012 during the Dark Knight Rises premiere. Well, 12 people were killed, you may remember, and dozens more hurt. We spoke with people at the Brendan Theaters at the Palms who are pleased to see police taken this seriously. The timing is very sensitive, so I think a lot of people in Vegas especially would feel a lot more secure knowing that there's more security. Well, the movie theater in Aurora is not showing the Joker. They chose not to. Meanwhile, Metro does encourage people if they see something to say something by calling 311 or 911 for immediate assistance. And obviously the movie's gotten a lot of hype and a lot because of that. They expect it to be very violent. And Josh Bell's here now, film critic with the Bell Breakdown, to talk about the Joker. And um, first of all, you said... Um, it, it is exactly what we think it's going to be, right? Well, as far as it's supposed to be violent and, and you sure, know what you're yes. going into, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it is a violent movie. It's an R-rated movie. I mean, I've seen many, many more violent movies. Okay. I think the idea that this movie is somehow more extreme or more dangerous than other movies, I think is a little ridiculous. But yeah, it's violent. It's not a movie for kids. It is based on a comic book character, but it's a different take on that character that's darker and more serious and it's not a Marvel Universe movie. It's not Into the Spider-Verse. You don't want to take your kids to it. But as long as you understand that it is dark, I think there's nothing particularly shocking or jarring about it. Okay. I mean, I think that's actually one of the disappointing things about this movie is that it it sets up the idea that it's going to be so transgressive, and it's really not. It's really kind of dull, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, you didn't love it, huh? I didn't love it, <laughs> and I mean, it's gotten polarized reactions just as a uh -huh. film. Uh, I will say I respect the idea that they took a comic book character and made a different kind of film. It, again, it isn't a Marvel Universe movie. It isn't exactly like every other superhero movie, and mm -hmm. I appreciate that uh, from Todd Phillips, the director and co-writer, who wanted to make a movie that is more akin to these 1970s kind of loner dark dramas. Uh, Martin Scorsese has been cited often as an influence, Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy. And it aims for that tone. I think it gets it on a superficial level. I think this is a movie that, again, wants to push buttons, but doesn't really do a whole lot to draw you in, in terms of character, in terms of story. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, however, is really good as uh, Arthur Fleck, who is this uh, aspiring stand-up comedian, but uh, is, is very, very bad. And he's got a lot of um, problems. He's suffering from mental illness and is kind of beaten down by society and decides that he's not going to take it and becomes this, this violent criminal. Um, I think that characterization, again, is a bit shallow, even though this movie it doesn't have Batman, it doesn't have a counterpoint to him, so you can spend the whole movie with him. I don't know that you really understand him as a person, but Joaquin Phoenix is fascinating to watch and his Joker laugh it's I will good, yeah. say is haunting is the, the like violence aside the laugh is the creepiest thing about this movie I was gonna say I mean the movie looks creepy it is creepy it, it fulfills the creepiness there's yeah there are, the laugh there probably. are aspects of it that are creepy okay. uh, again I think there are more aspects of it that are just kind of flat I think the it, the plot never really builds. I mean, it, it builds to a, a violent climax, but it never really builds thematically. It never really comes together and, and says anything. And I think when you have a movie like this that's not a big action spectacle and that takes itself very seriously, it, it needs to have some depth. And okay. I just don't think that this movie does. It has a lot of shock value, um, but maybe not uh, as much as some people are giving it credit for. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, I think... It just, to me, it was it was underwhelming because there was nothing to it. Okay, interesting. Hey, what about this Birds of Prey trailer that was out today? And I was saying, uh, I don't know much about the Jokers, <laughs> but you were saying, this is the Jokers' girlfriend, but the other Joker, not this Joker. Yeah, of course, okay. this, this new film with Joaquin Phoenix takes place kind of in its own world, but we had the Joker played by Jared Leto in Suicide Squad a couple years ago as the DC Universe, mm -hmm. and uh, Margot Robbie played Harley Quinn who is, yes, his girlfriend, and, and a great character in her own right. And so she's now the star of this upcoming Birds of Prey film that comes out, uh, I believe, early next year. And is it getting good? Uh, I mean, or? other than there's, there's a trailer, no one's seen it yet. The trailer okay. looks fun. I feel like, to me, this is the kind of comic book movie I'm a little more excited about because it's 
got a little more energy and a little more life to it. Mm -hmm. It looks stylish. I mean, who's to say? Suicide Squad honestly was very bad. Right. So <laughs> whether this will be good, I can't say. But Margot Robbie and Harley Quinn was probably the highlight of Suicide Squad. So putting her in her own film and giving her the chance to carry it, I think is a good idea. So I hope it'll be good. I hope I'll like it more than Joker. All right. Wow. What a bell breakdown that <laughs> was, Josh. You didn't like the Joker. It's okay. And then this one looks good. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, uh, you we'll know, see. we got a few months to wait before this one comes out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Josh. That's the bell breakdown. And Josh will be back next Friday with another couple movies to review. Yes. Stay with us.